Hello, welcome back. I am Lady T and this is the Push Channel where we pray until something happens. We believe in the power of prayer. We know not only does God hear, but I am so thankful that he answers. I want to welcome you back to another one of our Touching Tuesday segments. And today I want to give you some tips to be successful with your fast. Stay tuned. have started the Daniel fast and this year I actually invited the push community to join in with me on the fast so we actually started on Sunday January 10th and we're doing the fast 21 days all the way through January 30th so that video last week went into a lot of information it gave you where it's, where it's based as far as scripture related it gave you um, information about what foods you can eat on the fast so I would just um, invite you to look at that video. I'm actually going to put it up here in the, somewhere at the top. It'll either be on, y'all know, I never know. It's somewhere, somewhere around here, up here. You'll actually see the, um, the video where you can go in if you want to join in on the fast. It's not too late. You can join in on the fast, but if you need more information about the Daniel fast itself, like what it is or whatever, check out that video. But part of the thing when you're doing a fast, just part of our flesh, part of us, when we're saying we can't have something, then we tend to, we may have areas where we struggle when we're doing a fast. So I just want to come in and just give you some tips, things that actually help me when I'm doing a fast. The Daniel fast is a little different because with the Daniel fast, you're not totally abstaining from food itself. You are, you can't eat. It's just certain foods that you cannot eat. But why some other fast, some other type fast, you may just do just liquids or you may not eat at all you may do a 72 hour fast with no food or sun up to sundown with no food so there are variations to to different fasts but with all of them you may struggle at times so i've done different types of fasts so i just want to share with you some tips that i use when i'm doing a fast so some of these tips will be only apply to the daniel fast while by other parts of it will really apply to any type of fast that you're doing when it's a spiritual fast. So the first thing I want to tell you, we're doing a spiritual fast. We're not dieting. Dieting is different. When I'm dieting, I will, <laughs> I will just like throw in the towel quick, quickly. Um, when I'm doing a spiritual fast, I, I'm more accountable because I know it's something that I have said that I want to do before God. But, um, but even that, even if you may struggle even with that, it's okay. I think it's good to have an accountability partner to um, kind of help you or, you know, go along with you on this journey. So that's why it's good with the push community. Because remember, a fast is not anything that we go around bragging about. It's not anything that we're trying to tell others about or looking downcast because we're on a fast. It's not about that. And the Bible actually speaks that you shouldn't do that but part of like being part of a community or that we're doing this together that we can encourage one another as we are doing this together and so you know put it in the comments below if you've been doing the fast um anything that you are seeking god for during the fast and of course you can always email me as well if it's stuff that you would like me to be um praying with you and being um being a intercessor with you on the fast for a particular area that you're praying to God for. But some tips I want to start with. The number one tip when you get up in the morning, start your day with prayer. You may not, some of you already do that, but some of you may be like, I'm more of a night person. I do my devotion and stuff in the evenings or I do it at lunchtime. But during your fast, 
to be successful, one of the things I do is I start my day with prayer. Because again, those first fruits, the first part of my day, I'm giving it to you. But also part of that prayer is praying to God that he help you. Like, Lord, help me curve my appetite for today. And as I am seeking you, Lord, that you are speaking to me. So again, um, because you want your focus to be on him. It's not about us. It's about my focus being on God, taking my eyes off everything else and putting it on him. And what a better way to start your day is to start your day in prayer with God. If you're doing the type of fast where you're not eating, so you're doing something different from a Daniel fast, you're totally abstaining or you're doing liquids only, during those times when you would normally be eating a meal, I would encourage you to pray during the breakfast time, your lunch time, or your dinner time. The next tip I would give you is when you're doing, especially with the Daniel fast, which is a little different because you can eat, but there are restrictions. Part of being successful on the Daniel fast is preparation. You need to meal prep because if you don't meal prep, then more than likely you're going to, you're going to be tempted to just eat something else or go through a drive through and pick something up. But if you meal prep, you plan your meals out, you'll be more successful. Make sure that you're carrying around with you healthy, the healthy snacks that you can have. Putting them in little Ziploc bags or little um, plastic containers with your nuts, your fruits, the different things that you can have. Having that readily available so that you won't fall off of the fast. Tip number three is play worship music. I try to, when I, um, especially when you feel like you're, you're craving something or if you're just doing another kind of fast, you're, I'm hungry, you're hungry, or you're craving something, put on some spiritual music, worship music. Try to get into worship with him. Again, that's taking my focus off the hunger, taking my focus off of what I can't have and putting my focus back on him. And then just inviting the Holy Spirit in. Many of you are still working from home. So have that worship music playing. But even some of you can play it even when you're at work. Because your earbuds now. I know I do that at my desk. I will just put in my earbuds and just go to worship. <laughs> you know, it's like sometimes I'm working. But then sometimes I'll just break out like just a praise. <laughs> and the girls in the office, they know. They're used to it. <laughs> But I find that that's another way to keep you on task when you are doing a fast. Tip number four is stay hydrated. It's very important, especially if you're trying to put down, um, you know, hunger pains or you're trying to get rid of a craving. Drinking water and staying hydrated will actually help minimize your hunger. It'll help you make you make you feel full. So especially during the Daniel fast, because you are restricting the things that you can have, then go ahead and make sure you're trying to get in the eight, eight ounces of water a day, making sure you stay hydrated. Tip number five is immerse yourself in God. And that means like and truly immersing myself means even when I am have free time. I'm trying to make sure I'm, I'm staying truly just watching programs that are spiritual because I'm trying to just do things that's just totally edifying my spirit. Feeding my spirit is more important than feeding the body right now. So I am like the music I'm listening to. I want to make sure I'm listening. I'm during this time for these 21 days, I'm immersing myself in God's word. So I am trying not to watch all the other things, get involved with the news and the politics and things that just throw you off. Staying around spiritually minded people, listening to Christian radio, listening to watching Christian programming. If you're watching TV or if you're online and stuff, just trying to make sure you, you're truly staying focused and immersed in him. So that's another tip. I had um, someone I saw on YouTube said to think of the Daniel fast, those 21 days. She said to think of it as if you were on a retreat. And I think that is 
That is perfect. I was like, that is a perfect analogy of thinking of you are going on a 21 day retreat with the Lord because you are wanting to come out of this with more than what you went into it for. You are wanting to come out with an awakening that you did not have before you went in. You are wanting to come out with an encounter with God that you didn't have before. That's why you're reading your Bible and you're getting alone. You're going in and no matter how many you may normally um, have your set schedule and your set, set devotional time. But this 21 days is to go even harder, to go in even more on top of what I would normally do. We're doing more because we are truly just consecrating ourselves before the Lord, giving ourselves to him. So those are the five tips I have for you, things that I do when I am on a fast to help me stay on target, to help me be successful during my fast. Put it in the comments below. What are some tips you have? What are some things that you do? What are some things you struggle with? When I'm on the Daniel fast, I'm not going to lie. I struggle with cravings for sweets. That's one of the things I crave usually when I'm on the Daniel fast. But share with me what are some of the things that um, that you may struggle with or tips that you may have that someone else may come and read in the comments that may help them. As far as the resources, there um, I'm going to put this in this video. I had it in the video last week, but I'm also going to put it in this video, um, the link to the Daniel plan. And I do want to thank those of you that have joined in on the devotional. The 14-day devotional is Bible Gateway has put together a 14-day devotional with um, scripture readings in the Daniel plan. And it's strictly for the push community. That link that I have in there is going to be for the push community. So you guys are able to see what I say about the devotion for the day, how it affect, how it talked to me that day. But I am enjoying reading your comments and what you're, what you're sharing, what the devotion meant for you for the day. So that's another way that we're connecting, staying together, one that's I'm also doing a prayer call once a week. So if you're interested in joining in on that prayer call, then email me at pushladyt at gmail.com and I will send you the information so you can join in on the prayer call. And remember, it's not too late to join in on the fast. So I don't know, whenever you're watching this video, we may you may be watching this video months from now. Whenever you want to start in on a, on a fast, just start in and do your fast. So it doesn't matter that we are already done with it. If you're coming here for information, I pray that you are successful on your, on your fast as well whenever you do start. And one of the things I also tell you is if you do find yourself that you have fallen off or you have eaten something you didn't, give yourself grace. You can get back on. You can get back on the you can get back on and start again with the Daniel with the Daniel fast. So let's go into prayer. Father, I just thank you. I thank you once again, Father, that we have this opportunity to be in your presence. Father, as we are coming, as we are seeking your face during the 21 days, as we are seeking you like more than before, Lord. Lord, I thank you that you would just answer each person as they are coming and as they are sharing their heart with you, Lord, as they are coming for answers, Lord, that during their time along with you, Lord, that you will give them the answer to whatever it is that they are seeking you for. Lord, I thank you for favoring your covering over the people who are joining in on the fast. Lord, I thank you that you are bringing just the people that you would have to this channel and that you are giving me wisdom and insight in how you would have me to move forth with the channel in 2021. Lord, I thank you that as women and men are seeking you during this fast, Lord. Lord, I thank you that they are just coming away with new spiritual gifts and ideas for the kingdom, Lord. Lord, I thank you that they are coming up, that you are raising up a generation that will be on fire for you, Lord. That they will come out.
out, Father God, being obedient and on fire like never before. Lord, I thank you that this is not a diet, but it is a spiritual fast. It's a spiritual cleansing, Lord. Lord, I thank you that as they touch and agree with this prayer, Father God, that everything that they are seeking you for, Lord, will come to pass. Lord, you say that when we diligently, that you are a rewarder of those that diligently seek you. So as they are diligently seeking you, as they are giving you your, their your first fruits, Father God, that you are answering and that you are rewarding them. It is in your darling son Jesus' name I pray and continue to thank you. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed week.